I'm Catherine Bogart here at the NHL Combine in Buffalo, New York with NHL.com's Mike Morial. Mike, an exciting weekend, and it really allowed the Devils and other teams to see who they could potentially pick with their first round picks. Who should the Devils target in at that four or second overall spot? Well, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here with you, Catherine. But yeah, I mean, that second overall spot, I mean, it's all obviously all depending on what Montreal wants to do. But if Montreal were to choose a Shane Wright, I think a Yuri Slavkovsky uh, from TPS in Finland would be a great option for the Devils. Big size kid. I mean, obviously he was MVP at the Olympics. Um, the Devils need size on the wings, in my opinion. And there's been talk this week at the Combine that perhaps Slavkovsky might even shift to, he could play that center role as well. So to have that double-edged sword where you might have a, a big, six foot two, you know, 207 pound player that can play the middle of the ice, maybe take some face offs and also play that wing where he'd be a strong along the boards. I think it'd be a perfect fit for a, a Jack Hughes or Nico Heeshear in that regard. And then if, you know, if, if Slavkovsky isn't there and they have a chance to pick up a Shane Wright, uh, a right-handed center, um, it's another great option. I mean, the Devils right now, when you look at the team they had last year, a lot of promise. I mean, you saw Jack Hughes and what he was able to do. You saw Nico, you saw Dawson Mercer, who was able to play all positions on all lines. But I think that if they were able to get a Shane Wright add to that mix, Shane Wright can also play a wing to start. And Shane Wright has told us here at the Combine, Catherine, that you know he's ready for the NHL. So it's Shane Wright, in my opinion, Slavkovsky. In some ways, I do like the right-handed Ds in this draft, too. And Simon Nemitz was another player. Um, he played in Slovakia, actually teamed with Slav uh, Slavkovsky uh, for Slovakia at the, at the Olympics and World Championships. But I think the two best options right now, it's either... Slavkovsky, if he's there, or, or Shane Wright. It's the first year back with an in-person combine after COVID canceled it for the past two years. Who really stood out to you, whether it was interview rounds or with the physical testing, that could be someone to consider in the second or third round for this Devils team? Yeah, I mean, the, there were a lot of players. I mean, all the players, and I give a lot of credit to the international kids here, Catherine. I mean, they're coming from different parts of the country, uh, parts of the world, excuse me, and they're able to get the interviewing process done. A lot of times you, in the past, you've seen the international players come with, an, you know, interpreters to help them, but you didn't see really a lot of that this year. And I thought it was really impressive the way they were able to conduct the interviews, go through the process here at the Combine, going through the tests, um, getting it all done. But, I mean, as, as far as a second-round player, uh, I, I look at, like, maybe a Jack Hughes from Northeastern, which I think would be pretty funny. And it, you know, this Jack Hughes plays at Northeastern. He was a freshman this year, scored 16 points in 30-some-odd games. He's actually the son of the Montreal Canadiens uh, GM, Kent Hughes. But I love what Jack was able to, to do. I think he'd be in that range for the Devils early in the, uh, the early portion of the second round. I also think a, a forward from Moose Jaw in the Western Hockey League, Jagger Furcus, um, a player that I know Central Scouting was very high on on the final uh, uh, rankings list, but he's a he's a centerman. He really came on strong in the second half of this season. Had over 80 points, um, and I just love his compete level. He's kind of slight. Catherine, he goes about maybe 5'10", 155 pounds. But what I really like about him is his persistence, his determination, and what he wants to accomplish. I think he'd be a perfect fit for for a Devils team. Mike, you've talked to different scouts and different teams, and they all look at different parts when they're analyzing a player here at the Combine. What are some of the things that a Devils team or a young team might look at, whether it's testing or interview questions? Yeah, well, I think the interviewing process is the most important part of the Combine, in my opinion. I mean, I, the testing is good, and I think for the testing portion of this, I think what scouts, what general managers really want to see is the push, the drive of, the, of these players. Not necessarily how many reps they have or how, you know, the timing on the bikes, which we all know is grueling, but just to see these players push. They wanna see if they're gonna go 100% when the going gets tough. And I think that's an important part for the testing. For me personally though, I like the interviewing process of this. I mean, teams are able to learn about these players, where they're from, how they were, you know, their upbringing, how difficult it might have been for them, you know. And in the case of Yuri Slavkovsky, he's coming over from Slovakia. He's lived in Finland the past three years, and he's really done a nice job in what he was been able to accomplish. So there's stories there that I think the general managers and scouts really want to dive into to learn more about these players. So for me, I love the interviewing process.
if the Devils did pick Jack Hughes and say that Jack also made the Devils lineup, how, as a reporter, would you cover Jack Hughes, the 2019 first overall pick, and then a potential 2022 draft pick? That It's funny you say that because we actually spoke with him, uh, the Jack Hughes from Northeastern, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, well, how are they going to put your name on, on your jersey? So, you know, it would probably be, you know, J.K. Hughes, and then, of course, Jack Hughes for the Devils, J.R. Hughes, but I don't know. It's it's like you, you would. I, I guess we'd have to go by numbers. We'd have to go by something. So it, it, that that's that, that's a funny. Uh, it's a funny proposition. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting if they did they did take Jack Hughes. No doubt. It would definitely be interesting to see if we have two Jack Hughes on the Devils roster. That, of course, is a question that will not be answered until later on. But Mike, we appreciate the insight as the Devils are looking forward to the draft after this NHL Combine.